Okay, for um, an excuse to get serious, which is going to be very rare, um, I thought we would just draw from books. I have probably close to 2,000 books in my studio. A lot of them are from the masters. But these are lectures. These are all the crazy lectures. So let us know. I mean, there's some bad words in here. Um, if you want to continue with these, we have Dexter. Um, two butt cheeks are better than one. We get Ucked in the drive through Birth to Death, Timeshare in Hell. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. But we're kind of wondering, do we really want to stay with this? There's some funny stuff here. Pinocchio's fun. That's anatomy. We'll see. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to play and get a little serious and just draw because people have been asking um you know what do we draw from and i can't show you naked people because that would burn the eyes out of the viewers and destroy uh youtube and destroy you because people don't get naked um but in these books they can so this is just a few of my favorite books and i thought we would just have some fun so I'll keep them here on the floor. And uh, you know, Raphael, he's a nice guy. He was one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And we can go to the Getty because it's not open anymore uh, for now. And um, But I really hope it does. So I'm going to try to fill up a lot of this sketchbook. This is really fun. I really like working with these pastels. I grabbed some charcoal pencils. And I thought we'd just play with different techniques and just draw okay so i really like the pastels because i'm an animator and we always you know kind of rough it out first so there's a little drawing a little painting right here tiny little thing and this is tintoretto who i really like i never knew him when i was a kid um, we didn't go to high school together which was really kind of too bad okay this is a uh, one of those wipes because it's COVID and it works well with the pastels. Okay, so let's have some fun. Let's do, just go with the gesture. Now the reason why I say that's for animation is because, you know, it's all about motion. Um, you know, Glenn Vilpo, I got a chance to sit in on one of his talks and it's kind of cool because, you know, we've been together for 40 years. And it was just so fun. It was probably one of the longest people in there. But, you know, here's Glenn. He's just nailing it. Just, just nailing it. And he's talking about the wave. See that? There's the wave. And it, he's saying it's kind of new for a lot of people. But at our school, we teach it to, you know, eight-year-olds. Uh, we teach it to five-year-olds. I mean, it's just what it is because it's animation. So... If you get a chance, you know, 10 Glenn's lectures, he's he's the best living artist on the planet, so. Um, and my teacher. I met Glenn when I was 19 years old, and the funny story is that I was uh, attending the drawing class because this guy named, I can't I say name on thing, but he's just a great guy. The studio says, you know, Sheldon, I was 19, just started the studio, he goes, you should go take some drawing classes. I think I think I should. And uh, so I went to the school of Brandis. It was West Valley Art Center at the time. I was the one who kind of hopefully, you know, got them to change it to Brandis in one of the faculty meetings, you know, the board of directors meetings because I'm the board of directors and faculty. But I go in there and I'm like full of myself because I'm a studio guy. And, you know, you kind of learn to not be full of yourself when you work in animation. But I was kind of like... Wow, and this guy in front of me, you know, he was drawing really well. But I thought, you know, who is this guy? You know, I'm a professional. And his name was Glenn Vilpu. So I became a student pretty quick and uh, never stopped. So, you know, it's, he's my family. He's my life. So, and he also teaches about the wave. See, so this line goes like this, and then we can go along. I've taken it to use also with animation timing, because 
the lines that are closer together move slow. And then the lines, when they kind of get more distance, you know, the drawings, and they move faster. So if you notice, this is slow, and then we go really long, and then we speed up, see? Fun. So now we have the new Glenn, which is my student, Glenn Pauline, who I think is probably one of the top artists that I've met. But I got to meet him when he was 11 and teach him. And now he's like my mentor, but it was so fun. Just he's, again, one of my best friends. Oh, this is about Glenn's. They do really well. Okay, one mistake that Tinderado is making is these lines are even. So we call this tweening. See, they're evenly spaced, so we don't want to do that. Sorry, Tinderetto. So we're going to go like this, like that, and push it along. And we have this overlapping form, which is the pelvis. So this is part selfish for me, because I just want to draw. I've been studying software all week and doing some freelance work, too. I just want to do drawing for me. So go like that. And this is behind. I've moved this in. So draw through. Draw through. Always draw through. Okay, so we got that. Push this around. Do it all at the same time. Don't be afraid. But what's important is this line is in front of this. So this form, this shape is in front of this shape. Notice how different they are. This is a box shape and this is an S shape. Now the whole idea of these videos, of course, is that you go and buy our other videos, which are way more um, detailed. But also for people who don't, aren't close enough to the art schools to get an education or can't afford it. And uh, that to me is very, very important because I couldn't afford art school. I had to work my way through art school. So I actually taught to go to art school. So they, I taught classes and because I taught classes, they gave me classes. So it was pretty cool. So I actually was a teacher to be, to allow myself to be, to be a student, to be lucky enough to be a student. So. So this is a way of paying it back and paying it forward. So let us do it. Corey is great. Uh, he's single and he's good looking. So if anybody's out there, he's straight, but maybe we can convince him. Um, but, uh, you know, with the stay at home stuff, you know, I'm just kidding. I told him, I said, we should try to find you a wife, Corey. Okay, so we got this toe sticking out there. You see, it's just kind of coming out of this rough. So it's coming around this way. I got this arm in front. He did it right. He silhouetted. I didn't. But he's better than I am. Okay, here we go. Try to group the fingers, you know, keep one or two. So like, like this is way out here and then this is less and then this is a shape. So try to design as much as you can. So it's 9.15 and got all my work done. You know, today it's kind of cool because you, you do the work, you put it in Dropbox and you press send and uh, and then you're you know that's it so kind of in the mood to draw so we're gonna get a lot of drawing done we're just gonna go through these books and just try to find drawings that are fun so this bothers me that he's got a cast shadow but these these are even so we don't want to do that so we'll go along here in animation that's called tweening we don't want to tween
little serratus anteriors to this ilia external oblique. Now this is important and he's really nailing it here. He's putting this shape under the pecs. So that's really great. You can play with um, atmospheric perspective too. You know, just kind of let it kind of go back. And he's got the head going back like this. So if we go from the pit of the neck, we go up behind the ear to the mastoid. So sternocleidoid mastoid, and that'll go across. That will give you where your um, eyebrow is. You have the eyebrow, then you get the orbit of the eye. If you have the orbit of the eye, now you know where the zygomatic process is. If you have that, then you know where the side plane is. So they all kind of go together. All right, so a little anatomy doesn't hurt. And he's old, so we'll give him a big nose. Nose grows. And I'm going to really change him out a little bit. So I'm going to give him uh, the beard. Okay, and he's got an ear here. And he's got hair. which will go to the beard. So if we can get your career started by doing this, that would be really cool. I would love that. So see these waves? All right, so now what do we want to do? He's sitting here. Um, I got have another leg. He's got two butt cheeks, so we'll go here. I think he's got two butt cheeks. But if he did, we draw through. Find the other butt cheek. Go like that. It's so much more easy to teach like this than to come up with all the crazy, ridiculous stuff. But you certainly remember those stories because they're so out there. And they're really insane. Let's see, I want to be careful with that. It might look like he's got a giant winky. Okay, so we'll go in right here. Let's bring this leg out this way. People in the Renaissance didn't have big winkies. They always made them kind of small. Bam. Okay, so that's off from the distance. Let's bring this inner muscle here. No, that's not thinner. This would be a big toe. Thinner would be a thumb. So this is a really, you know, good form of meditation to just sit and do figure drawing. Okay, now this is coming towards us, so we'll make this darker. So you see I make these lines close, and then I make them further apart. That's animation. It's like a timing chart. And then I go close, and I go long, and then I go close. And then I think the other hand could be going back like this. Draw through. Don't just draw it, you know, coming out. No, you have to think about it. This would be the thumb. 
Yeah. So I usually kind of act it out in my head. Oh, that didn't look good. So let's go like this. Let's go like that. Let's bring the thumb out this way. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Let's try it again. So we draw through. Go down. Always draw through. There we go. Boom. Keep your coming in like that. Yeah, so the head thumb on the other side, you see the palm. So, you know, worst case scenario, you act it out in your mind or you can, you know, put your hand down. So just from this little tiny drawing, it's fun. Okay, let's see how that looks. That's kind of fun. Kind of chopped off his head a little bit. Okay, 16 minutes. It's not too bad because we did an introduction. All right, let's move on to another drawing.